Hello, and welcome to this discussion of VoiceThread presentations presented by Kyle Simmons from the CLEAR program. This tutorial will teach you how to create a VoiceThread PowerPoint presentation for your first oral communication assignment. In this tutorial, I'll walk you through the steps to creating a VoiceThread PowerPoint presentation, and this will be done on a Mac computer. If there are any deviances in the step-by-step -step processes for PC versus a Mac, I will alert you to those as we make it from one step to the next. First thing that you want to do is make sure that you have a microphone. If your computer has a built-in microphone, you should have everything you need to start your VoiceThread PowerPoint presentation. Before you begin to add voice to your presentation, make sure you have created and organized your slides the way you want them. Once your PowerPoint is finished, you are ready to add a voice thread to the presentation. To do so, open up the slideshow that you've created. Once you've got the slideshow open, go up to the top menu where it says slideshow, scroll down to record narration. This is the same step for both Mac and PC. They both say slideshow, they both say record narration. Click on that. Uh, the PC will ask you to hit OK. The Mac, as you see, asks you to hit record. Hello, and welcome to this discussion of VoiceThread presentations presented by Kyle Simmons from the CLEAR program. When creating VoiceThread presentations, make sure you have created the slides you want to include and organize them the way you want them to be organized as a final product. After that, make sure you've created a script. You do not want to wing it from one point to the next. Make sure that everyone knows what their part is and has it written down so the process moves fluidly. When recording your voice, speak slowly, clearly, and articulately into the microphone. Pause briefly between your points. Don't rush or your audience might not be able to understand what you're saying. And finally, take a moment to pause before you change your slides, otherwise your voice might get cut off. In summary, these are the steps you need to follow in order to create your VoiceThread PowerPoint presentation. Once you've finished recording your narration, press enter or return, and then I'll bring you back to the dialog box. On the Mac, as you can see, it will ask you if you want to save your changes with the slide timings, say yes. And if you want to review the timings in the slide order, you can do that then as well. You see that it brings up a screen with each of the slides and a brief reminder of the length of time for each of the slides. If you want to, and I encourage you to do so, you can go back and review the slideshow as follows. Simply click on Hello, the button. Hello, and welcome to this discussion of VoiceThread presentations presented by Kyle Simmons from the CLEAR program. When creating VoiceThread presentations, make sure you have created the slides you want to include and organize them the way you want them to be organized as a final product. After that, make sure you've created a script. You do not want to wing it from one point to the next. Make sure that everyone knows what their part is and has it written down so the process moves fluidly. When recording your voice, speak slowly, clearly, and articulately into the microphone. Pause briefly between your points. Don't rush or your audience might not be able to understand what you're saying. And finally, take a moment to pause before you change your slides. Otherwise, your voice might cut off. In summary, these are the steps you need to follow in order to create your VoiceThread PowerPoint presentation. Okay, now you've had a chance to see what the VoiceThread PowerPoint presentation looks like. Hopefully that was enough to show you that that was me talking and then my recording talking. Once you've got that slideshow the way that you want it, the voice sounds good, the information sounds good, the slides are the way that you want them, make sure that you save your slideshow naturally. Obviously, file, save as. And you're going to save to the desktop. And you want to make sure that you name it ME1000-F11 for fall 11. Your team number, I'll put team 99. Your team name as well, which is naturally Kyle is awesome. DPA6. And then finally, VoiceThread. That way we can verify that this is the VoiceThread presentation for your group for this course. So again, make sure you save that to the desktop.
it'll show up there on the right hand side. And then once you've got that saved to the desktop, make sure you compress your file. In order to compress your file, you will right click on a PC or you will press control and click with the Mac and then you'll go down to compress ME1000 voice thread, compress that and you'll see a zip file show up. Once you've had a chance to save and compress that file, make sure you upload the correct file, the zip file, to Moodle. If you have any questions on VoiceThread presentations, by all means, schedule an appointment with me during my office hours or any other time. Just send me an email to the TeachME webpage. Thank you.